Let's take a look at how environments have changed for Keyshot 7. We'll also look at the new embedded HDRI editor. Only available to Keyshot Pro users, the HDRI editor allows you to create custom image-based lighting to present your products and scenes in the best light. I want to discuss three main areas today. The updated environment library, the environment list, and the HDRI editor. The first item of interest is the updated environment library. All Keyshot Studio environments have been rebuilt procedurally, meaning each pin as well as the environment background can be individually customized and edited to meet your needs. And while the default resolution is set to 4K, you can also always increase it if needed to ensure crisp highlights and reflections. We'll talk about how to do this shortly. We've also added new high quality interior and outdoor HDRI environments, as well as keeping a few fan favorites. Old environments have been retired to the Keyshot Cloud library and can be downloaded at any time. To apply an environment from the library, either double click on it or drag it into the real-time view, just as you have done in Keyshot 6 and prior. The environment list is new for Keyshot 7 and allows you to collect any environments you may want to use in your Keyshot scene. Drag an environment from the library into the environment list. From within the environment list, an environment can be made active by clicking it. To the left of the environment list, there's a duplicate environment button that makes a copy of the currently active environment. The create blank environment map button presents you with the blank canvas to begin editing using the HDRI editor. Below the environment preview lies the HDRI editor, a Keyshot Pro feature. In Keyshot 6 and earlier, the HDRI editor launched in a separate window that often fought with the rest of the Keyshot user interface. Now in Keyshot 7, the HDRI editor is embedded directly within the environment tab of the project panel. When the HDRI editor is active, the currently active environment will be edited. To create a new environment, click the Create Blank Environment Map button to the left of the environment list. We are presented with a gray background and nothing else. With the background selected, four background modes are available. Color, Gradient, Sun and Sky, and Image. Depending on which one is selected, different options will become available. I'll stick with color background mode for now. Directly below the background option is where the resolution can be changed at any time. After selecting a background color, you may add pins using buttons that should be familiar to Keyshot 6 users. It's worth mentioning the new gradient pin option. It's a highly versatile pin offering control over color stops as well as opacity stops. The circular, rectangular, and half pin options are still available for all pin types. Now after adding pins, if you decide you need to change the background of an environment, it can be done by selecting the background from your pin list, and then choosing a different background mode, and your pins will be retained. While you continue to create new or existing environments, your changes will be saved. However, it's still important to click the refresh button, which will generate a full resolution HDRI, ensuring that those reflections and highlights remain sharp. Any environments you create without using any images or image pins will be compressed and saved within the BIP file and will not need to be saved elsewhere as they were in Keyshot 6 and prior. From the new library of environments and the environment list to the embedded HDRI editor, Keyshot 7 offers many enhancements to how you light your scenes using image-based lighting. To subscribe and get updates whenever we post new content, click the icon in the center of the screen. To view more quick tips and webinars, click the thumbnails below.